Hey plant gang, Corcus fellows, another oak that you need to know. And of course, as, as I start off here, I can see that this oak has long willow-like foliage where it gets its common name willow oak. Corcus fellows, the willow oak, alternately arranged leaves on the stem. A very fine textured oak, suitable for street trees, suitable for park situations. Po probably one of the more popular landscape oaks of the moment. Uh, the fall color is maybe a little bit nicer than some other oaks. Uh, it's not fiery red uh, like you would get with a scarlet oak, but it does have kind of a orangish, bronzy fall color that can be quite nice. People like it because of its fine texture. When these leaves fall down to the ground, they're easily mowed, they're easily picked up, which is a little bit different than some of the bigger leaved oaks, uh, but used quite extensively uh, for landscape purposes. I'm here amongst a nice little grove of them uh, where they're used quite impactfully. Kind of a medium, a fast growing tree, uh, especially for an oak that can get up and add shade to a landscape and be quite nice. So Corcus fellows, the willow oak, all oaks are in the Fagaceae family. This one is native to the southeastern United States and hardy from zones five through nine. Can get 40 to 75 foot high and spread out 25 to 50 foot wide. Uh, the fall color, again, uh, can be kind of orangish, coppery. Uh, some people even report a little bit of a yellow to the fall color. Uh, but it's a little bit variable depending on perhaps uh, where you're at. Now oaks just in general are a bit uh, promiscuous and so you can see hybrids of this tree available on the market that were seed grown. And so uh, the one that we're showing you is a pretty typical example of willow oak. And here's a landscape tip. A medium to large shade tree for large lawns along streets or in parks. Also effectively used near ponds or water gardens.